Hi guys, welcome to this short video about what to do with an old computer or actually question for a lot of people. Can you just throw an old laptop or an old computer into the trash? I mean, of course, you can do that. Nobody will punish you. Nobody will find you. You can do that, but um, maybe there are better options. So let's look into that for a couple of minutes. So before you throw away something uh, which was really expensive a couple of years ago and maybe just waste some money, think again what you can do with an old computer. Maybe it's outdated for gaming and office and other nice things. I mean, of course, video recording those things, but there are probably still some things which your computer could be capable to do. I mean, uh, it can still act as a file server like an NAS or you can have it as a backup even for the NAS. Maybe you have an, uh, an NAS and an NAS is sometimes really difficult to backup and you could attach your old computer to the network and attach an, like a hard drive and backup your NOS to the hard disk drive and from there even to the cloud. So these are uh, options or you can play some music in the background at home or in your business or yeah wherever i mean there are plenty of options i'm pretty sure there are even more options than that and yeah if you really can't find any possibility to still use it maybe there are other people who uh, would really still like uh, even an old computer i mean there are uh, I don't know, homeless or I mean homeless, yeah, they probably don't have uh, like internet and power, but uh, I mean people really in need uh, who cannot afford new computers and they would probably still be very happy if they would have access to the internet through an old uh, slow computer so they can deal with uh, invoices with the utilities with other things from school and so uh, in a lot of times you don't need a fast computer uh, for a lot of people it's uh, just essential to have a computer and yeah I mean, there are usually uh, local charity organizations or goodwill or other organizations and it could be probably worth to ask or to check that how it looks um, I mean there's even a chance uh, to deduct from your tax I've heard about that I've never done this but uh, I think uh, this could be an option too especially if you are living in US maybe for other countries too so but maybe you think uh, it doesn't work like this. I mean, if the computer is really, really old, super slow, I mean, probably damaged, keyboard damaged and not really working at all and not be useful for you or, the, or other people. I mean, there is a thing called uh, computer recycling. I mean, this uh, some materials which are in the computer they are harmful for the environment so it could be dangerous to just dump it into the trash and the EPA the uh, Environment Protection Agency has calculated that the energy which can be saved by recycling uh, 1 million laptops uh, is equivalent to the amount of electricity used by over 3,500 US homes in a year. So I'm, I'm not sure if you can really save a lot of power 
I mean that's probably not the main thing but prevent uh, preventing of dumping dangerous things and just uh, or burning that or dumping it somewhere I mean you have to be aware of that if you uh, put something in a trash in let's say Europe US or other places sometimes they are not uh, burnt properly or like uh, here or wherever I mean sometimes uh, these companies they transport the trash all over the world and sell it to uh, countries third world countries and they promise to dispose and burn but sometimes they just dump it into the sea so uh, yeah you have to be uh, aware of that and that's a good thing some of the big companies like apple uh, probably other companies too they offer a recycling program free of cost and you sometimes even get a, a small voucher to buy uh, new uh, products for a little bit cheaper i have seen that apple even offers to pay the shipping so you don't have to pay to ship your laptop uh, back to Cupertino in California or wherever it is in your country and sometimes local stores they have recycling programs too I've heard of uh, Best Buy Target or maybe local computer stores probably other companies have it too and it's always a good thing to check with your local communities uh, if you live in a um, city or a county or wherever check on their website to find out if they have recycling programs but before you do anything like that it is super 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 important to keep your data safe and that means two things first thing is to back up your data means to replicate to make a copy of that so you will still have access to your important documents like uh, tax filings pictures videos all other documents i mean this can be really devastating if you just dump a computer with all your valuable data into the trash and even worse if somebody finds it and get access and that's number two you should definitely destroy your data on the old uh, hard disk drive before you put it into the trash and also more important if you i mean maybe you can even sell your old computer or if you donate it to goodwill or or the charity organization or whatever you do make sure that nobody else will get access to your old data and this can be a little bit of a challenge i mean if your old pc is still running you can back up i mean you can attach another a hard disk drive or you can upload it to the cloud or whatever um, options you have maybe you can buy an NAS network network attached storage and run this in your home and keep all your um, data safe there you can then do a backup there and there are also programs which destroy uh, your data on the computer uh, usually you will have to load it on a USB stick and run it from there and um, yeah the, this is a really huge wide topic so I'm not covering this this would uh, be uh, yeah its own topic for hours and so I'm not covering this you can google for that there are a lot of programs to back up and destroy so if your pro if your computer is not working properly but you have a desktop model uh, there are just a few screws in the back usually to open the case and to remove the hard disk drive and then you can attach it to a new computer at least you can remove it and then dump it or sell it or whatsoever so and yeah the 
only really huge problem usually is with a laptop and with a especially with a non-running laptop is your if your laptop is really really super old and broken maybe the power is not running or you don't have any idea what's not working anymore you have to make sure that you don't lose your data and nobody get access to your data so you definitely have to remove the hard disk drive from your laptop that's really essential before you do anything with that but there are usually good youtube videos i have one i've done one yesterday for an old laptop and you will uh, almost uh, find good videos uh, for m most of the laptops the only thing is that you need also some good uh, screwdrivers um, with standard screwdriver sometimes it can be really difficult to do that I mean the very last option is to take uh, something like a sledgehammer and destroy the whole thing <laughs> if you hammer the whole laptop from every side you really have a good chance uh, to destroy the hard disk drive but you will you won't have a chance to back up your data that's uh, really important to know so there's one more thing which i really wanted to show you that's uh, special equipment which you can use to attach your old hard disk drives at your new computers no matter if it is a 2.5 inch hard disk drive for a, from a laptop or 3.5 hard disk drive uh, from a desktop PC most of these devices are ready to accept both sizes of hard disk drives just plug it open uh, yeah open the lid and plug it in push it into the adapter attach it to power and USB and you should be able to access all your old data of course only as long as the old hard disk drive is still working properly but then you can do backups and use special programs to delete all your data or you can keep your hard disk drive for a while to access it or i mean i actually recommend to copy it to your new computer and then actually dispose it my experience is that the old hard disk drives are really prone to fail uh, soon and i wouldn't do much with them usually you keep it in uh, a drawer for a couple of years and after 10 years you dispose them anyway and you can't remember if you already backed and uh, erased all the data so it's better to do everything uh, immediately and then dispose this hard disk drive so that's a really good thing i definitely can recommend that to buy it's only 22 dollars on amazon i will put down the link into the description you can order it right from there uh, it's really not much money it's definitely worth it it's an uh, investment for the future and you will be able to use it a couple of times probably and after that you have saved all your data and deleted i mean uh, the data from your hard disk drive or uh, if you don't want to delete that you can now destroy your data uh, physically with a really big hammer but it's important to protect you and your eyes your fingers whatsoever I mean the uh, discs in these hard disk drives are really sensitive but the whole case can be really sturdy and heavy so usually you need a big hammer and uh, be really careful don't um, harm yourself or um damage other things but uh, it's a safer thing what you can do to use a big hammer and 
just destroy the whole thing so nobody will have access to your data anymore and so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and also if you have other opinions like better solutions whatsoever leave a comment i'm always happy to talk about and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time